Here you go. Go in and out. We're going to go in and out five times. Uh, Audrey is five, five and a half. Ooh, that's easy. Ooh, that's easy. She has arthrogryposis, multiplex congenita. It affects her muscles and her joints, something that she'll have for the rest of her life. It'll never get worse. She will only get better. All right, you're going to do it again. You think you can beat 44? Kind of a little normal kid outside of having a disability. So tries to keep up with all the other kids that she comes in contact with. She stays as normal as possible. Being in kindergarten, being in school really in general, has made her want to work harder at therapy. I think she's getting a deeper understanding that she's not like other children that she faces every day. 30, right on the nose. Good job. Audrey's big goals right now are to be completely independent with wheelchair transfers. So if that's getting from the floor to her, into her wheelchair or from her wheelchair to the floor. One of my goals for her is, is to be walking a little more independently, using a walker instead of her wheelchair as much. 20? Good job. Okay, 20? It was 20. I mostly help them develop gross motor skills. Um, so that could be anything from hopping, skipping, jumping, to learning how to walk. Uh, sitting better, um, using standards, different types of equipment, things like that. I really wanted somewhere that had good therapists with pretty good experience um, that could see past Audrey's like fake crying <laughs> and her refusing to work hard. I wanted um, a team that could push her. Her family and I feel like she's going to be able to do anything she wants to. So as long as we can get her functionally independent so she, she's not limited by her disability, then um, that's, that's our goal, just to get her as independent as she can be. Play is important to work into therapy because that's the biggest thing that kids do. Um, you know, they play all day long with their siblings, with their classmates, by themselves. So to get a child to participate in therapy and not dread coming and to enjoy therapy, it's important for it to be fun for them. So play is important in all aspects of what we do here. I searched around for different options for therapy after First Steps and I actually had a few different people recommend Easter Seals for her. We have three main therapies here. We have physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. And here at this office, we're all in the same office. Uh, so we talk about our kiddos constantly, um, different things that are working for them, different toys they really like um, that are motivating or you know, different um, things we've seen in sessions. <laughs> Good. They're like an extended part of our family. I mean, I don't know what we would do without them. I mean, we can only do so much on our own and we only know so much to do. <laughs> and without their help and uh, direction to let us know what we should be doing on our own. And, and they've just been phenomenal. It's always a positive experience. She's come so far. The thing I love the most about Easter Seals Crossroads is that everyone is so committed to doing what's best for our consumers and particularly in children's therapy services everyone's so committed to doing what's best for not only the child that we're treating but also their family so if we can make something easier for the child and their family that's our goal. She loves her therapist. She loves them. She really does and you know she always tells me how proud of her that the therapists are you know and that's that's comforting to, to have